Welcome to the guitar lesson you've been waiting for more than two years. Slightly stupid, the sun is shining. <clears throat> it's a very easy chord structure in the song, but it sounds difficult with all the embellishments. But they're fairly easy to play. Um, three chords in the song, the D chord. The A chord, I play it like this my A, I don't like to play it like this. And the G chord, so it's actually 1, 4 and 5 chord, so D, G, A. Um, very typical structure for a lot of pop, rock, blues songs, um, especially in the chorus. But this song all the way D G A. It has a intro which sounds also difficult and looks difficult but is also fairly easy to play. It's based on the D chord shape. So the D chord shape I'm this is the first time I do a lesson so I don't know how I can show it good but this is a D chord shape this finger second fret this thing finger third fret this finger also second fret and we move this all the way up to the 14th fret with my first finger with my index finger there it starts the same chord only an octave higher okay Play it for a time, <laughs> for some time. That's kind of the introduction, I didn't play it good, I'm not gonna play it again. Because it's not a performance lesson, but a lesson lesson. So... I just do this and then I hammer on with my pinky to the 15th fret on the high E string. No, I don't hammer on on this, but I hammer on when I move the shape to the ninth fret. So now I moved everything down five frets to the ninth fret with my index finger. To the 12th fret again with my pinky I do this hammer on then it goes to the 7th fret and it does also this pinky thing then it goes to the 9th fret then it goes to the 7th fret 5th fret to the D, 2nd fret, then you can play around with your fingers a little bit, you can remove your middle finger or you can add the sus with uh, your pinky. You can play the middle part in a lot of different ways, you can play everything in a lot of different ways, the hammer-ons, the pull-offs, you can just choose what you do. So what 
I did now in the middle was instead of I did you can also do that and then it starts with uh, some licks uh, pretty fast licks so you have to practice them to get the speed in them you have to practice with a metronome and every time faster till you get it down uh, I think I play it in a different way than the original one I think the original one uses a lot of open strings so that's in the original what I do it's actually the same but it also changes the way you're gonna think about the licks but the licks are based on the mixolydian scale but I sometimes also hear something from the, the pentatonic minor scale that's pentatonic minor but I think it's mainly um, the mixolydian scale so what I do here is I move from the 5th fret with my ring finger on the low E string I have the, the A note and I move it up to the B note 2, two frets higher to the 7th fret and then I hit the D, the root note of the song root note of the chord also And that uh, note is on the 5th fret of the A string. That's why I also do the slide with my um, ring finger. Because then my index finger is right above the note where I want to be. Then I do here a hammer on. From the 4th fret of the D string to the 5th fret of the D string. Hammer on and pull off. And I land it on again the root note. 5th fret on the A string. What I do there is I just move up the scale. I do. I go back. So on the D string, fourth fret, hammer on, pull off to the D on the fifth fret, A string. And then I just go up. Last note I do with my pinky. But you can also slide it, it's better to slide maybe. Then it's a slide from the 5th fret D string to the 7th fret of the D string. Okay, so we have so far the slide from the A to the B on the A string. And then I go to the seventh, the fifth fret of the A string, and I go down the scale. So, you can also play it like this with the open strings. I think if you have difficulty with learning the song, maybe this is easier for you. I don't know, it's both the same for me. Um, I'm going to teach you how I play it. So, um, I'm also thinking the previous like you could also do with open strings, but I just gonna teach my way how to play it. 
and you just maybe find your own way what works for you. Um, that was with the open. You can also do that. Okay. My way is I start the um, lick with my ring finger on the 5th fret A string and with my 1st finger 3rd fret A string then middle finger so this and then again the ring finger on the A the 5th fret of the E string oh, I first go back up so So, like this you see it better. Five, three, five, three, five, three. And then it goes down the scale again, but it starts higher and it uses um, a note from the minor pentatonic scale. I'm just gonna play again from the start so you know where I'm at. So I do, I start on the D string, 5, 3, and then I do the A string, 5, 3, and then I do the E string, 5, 3. Five, three. And then I do a slide with my ring finger again to the uh, I want the ninth fret of the A string, and I land again because it's the perfect position again for my first finger on the 7th fret D string and I go back to the 9th fret A string with the, my ring finger and I slide back so oh it's strange to play this slow because I practiced it to play it very fast so now I'm a bit thinking about what I'm playing because I don't know exactly what I'm playing when I play it. So from 7 to 9 slide on the A string, I land on the 7 of the D string and I slide back again from the 9 to the 7 on the A string and I stop at the the root note on the 5th fret A string okay and then you need an A chord so you can decide how you're gonna play the A chord you can play it open or you can play it barred I like it barred because then I have this this chucky rhythm I can also do chuck with the A but I I have more high notes on the Bart chord, so that's why I like it a lot for reggae, um, ska style music. Okay, so how you play the Bart chord, I don't know if you know it, I'm gonna tell it very quickly, because otherwise you should look, should look at a video of how to play a bar chord. So I use my uh, index finger and I bar it over all the frets, all the fifth frets. That's the bar. Then I take my ring finger, seventh fret A string, my pinky on the seventh fret D string, and my middle finger on the sixth fret of the 